Kira, thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you. Um, could you please uh, describe a bit uh, what Semnox does? Yeah, uh, Semnox is a company that is focused on amusement and leisure industry. Uh, we started off in 2008 and this is the only industry that we focus on. Today we are a $15 million company uh, with the customers in 50 plus countries with more than 2000 sites using our system. And you, you guys are a, a company full of smart engineers. Um, why did you decide to outsource uh, the hardware portion? There were two big reasons why we looked at uh, this kind of option. One is that we wanted to work with the company that had uh, experience designing electronic solutions so that we get those best practices incorporated into our solution to make it more robust, etc. Uh, so we believe that we needed outside expertise for that. And the second is that we wanted to scale our production. Where we were in 2013, we wanted to significantly scale from there. And we believe that uh, China was the uh, the right answer to scale. Okay, And that is where the combination of Titoma comes into place, which allowed us uh, the outside perspective engineering capability as well as ability to manufacture in China. And so then we, we started uh, working together and built uh, the first uh, model. Um, yes. What were the outcomes? Uh, so? We have been extremely happy with the outcome. The project itself was called uh, KR001, which was a RFID reader. Uh, at this point in time, this specific model, I think we have already manufactured more than 70,000 pieces. Largest indoor amusement customer uh, in US has been using this model. We have been extremely happy with the, uh, the returns that we have got. Even with 70,000 pieces being out there, today, even today, we get only 500 pieces or less than 500 pieces back for repair every year. The defect rate has been just amazing. How do you think that working with Atoma is different uh, from working with other firms? There are two key differences. Okay, The first one is that uh, the uh, Titoma as a company, whenever they design a solution or whenever they work with us, they constantly think about uh, how to make it best for the customer. Okay, they consistently go above and beyond during the design phase to ensure that the product suits the requirements. Okay, uh, So that might mean that you have to put extra effort in the design, you have to put extra effort in prototyping, etc. And Titoma consistently does that. Okay, That's the first aspect. Second aspect is that uh, even when the product is complete and is in the production line, they continuously work to optimize the production line and to reduce the cost year on year. Okay. So that works very well because then as uh, you are able to save cost on your existing product, you are able to invest more on the new products. So it works both ways. And I think that's why the partnership with Titoma has been successful for us. Uh, in general, if, if somebody considers uh, uh, manufacturing in Asia, uh, what sort of advice can you give them? The, the environment, the culture in the China is quite different from other geographies. I myself travel to China. As you know, I travel to China very frequently. That's why I believe that whoever is exploring China as a, uh, a production destination, uh, it would be very advantageous for them to work with companies like Titoma. And I would highly recommend Titoma itself that they work with Titoma because that allows them to uh, understand and overcome the environment in China, the cultural uh, barriers in China, etc. So I strongly believe that it is necessary to have partners like Titoma uh, if you are seriously considering production in China. What without such a partner? What what do you fear would happen? So whoever has uh, worked with partners in China would know this. One, there is varying degrees of quality, okay. In a sense, uh, it is quite common that you will get a prototype of a particular quality, but when you get into the production line, the quality will be different. It is not possible for you to individually check each component and make sure that the quality uh, uh, the quality dimensions are the same as what it was in the prototype. That's the first part of it. Second part of it is that, say, uh, you come up with the requirement that the cost has to come down by 10%. 
the chinese companies don't argue about that they will go and make the changes in the production line without explaining to you what the impacts are and they will get the cost down by 10% okay you will be happy with that result but the actual result will come when it goes to the customers and customers start using it and your defect rates increases having the, the same firm do the, both the design and the manufacturing uh, for you uh, what do you feel about that Yes, I believe that there are significant advantages of the design firm itself doing the production. Okay, the uh, clear advantages for me are that one, when the design is being done, the designers also take into consideration the production challenges. It is not that you get into production and then realize that no, this particular part doesn't make sense, and then I go back to the design board and start changing. Uh, all said and done, see there is prototyping, etc. But the prototyping. Finally, it does not 100% validate that this is what will happen when the product goes to the field. Only when the product goes to the field, when people who don't know the product start using it, you figure out that no, this is not how it works, etc., and you start optimizing. So I believe that the design in this case, designers being responsible for production makes makes them more responsible, makes them uh, ensure that the product. uh is well suited for the production okay well um thank you very much thank you kiran uh, that's that's great fantastic